everyone welcome to my channel or welcome back uh, here to do my melts for the week so everything that I finished my empties and then everything that I didn't finish um, I did finish a lot this week I do have quite a bit I think because we're kind of getting closer to the end of the season I have sort of been and I knew this when I when sort of autumn and winter started I knew that I, I felt like I was melting a lot of new stuff because I was opening up stuff that I hadn't touched yet and I knew that by the end of the season there would be things that I would be finishing and emptying out of the collection and that's definitely happening not that I'm finishing all of my autumn or winter wax that would just be there's no way that would happen but um, yeah I finished a bit so let's get stuck straight into it um, first up I have this sample from Teddy B's of pistachio dream not dream sugar cookies so this one I have in a souffle as well. Let's see if I can find it for the notes. No, I'm not going to go digging for that. Anyway, I really do like this. I don't normally like pistachio at all. Pretty much every pistachio I've smelled has that really, like that cherry scent that I just do not like. This one does not have that. Now, everyone I've heard talk about this one says the same thing. I will say that I don't find it to be like uh, super nutty or pistachio like or nutty either to me this one is like maybe a cake or a cookie but I think feel I feel like it leans more like a cake but like with it's quite it's got quite a sweetness to it so it's like it's got sugar crystals and then maybe like some crumbled pistachio like just a little bit of nuttiness so I guess that idea of like a pistachio kind of crumbed um, sugar cookie or something, but definitely, I still feel it like it leans more cake though, but definitely with the, um, like the sugar crystals, I definitely got like a strong sugar crystal vibe from it. I think from the stock frosted circus cookies. So I liked it. I did like it. Um, the throw was medium in here. I had it in my office, so it was, it was good. I could smell it at my desk, but it wasn't like a powerhouse. Um... I think I will enjoy the souffle. I don't know if it would be a repurchase, but I do like it. Ooh, I'll put it over here. Um, so clams. So I did cookie butter fake and bake from Super Tarts. So this is cookie butter, zucchini bread, sugar cookie, sweet cream. Look, it's a great scent. I love fake and bake. That's the the zucchini bread, sugar cookies, and sweet cream. So the cookie butter is just like a much more dense, buttery cookie, I suppose. Um, so this just amps up that, the richness and the cookie-like aspects of the blend. So it was really good. I don't know if I like it any better than Fake and Bake, but I don't know if I think it's any worse either. It's just a different spin on Fake and Bake, I guess. So it's nice. I would probably get it again if she offered it. Like, not in any big quantities, but another clam would be fine. It was really strong as well, so that was good. Just dropped it on the ground. Ah, oh, shit. All right. That stays down there. I'm not going down there to get that. <laughs> um, Paranormal from Super Tarts. So this is uh, mahogany teak with berry tobacco leaf. I love this scent. It is, oh, it is so good. It is to <clears throat> to me. It is in the family of cranberry woods. It has like a tart berry, but with a slight sweetness and not sour because some tart berries go sour for me. And then just beautiful woods. Um, and the tobacco leaf, I think, just makes it a little bit more interesting. So, yeah, I absolutely adore this. I have more of it. I've bought multiple clams. It throws really strongly. I just, I love it. It's one of my absolute favourites from Super Tarts. So, always a repurchase. Super, uh, Southbound Basic Witch. So, this is pink sugar, toasted marshmallows, campfire smoke, and sweet gooey marshmallow cream. I really like this. I love Pretty much all of the Southbound blends with Campfire Smoke and Sweet Gooey Marshmallow Cream. I think my favourite one is Dead in the Night and Witching Hour. So that one has like, it's not pink sugar. I think it's got like lavender and something else. Anyway, that one's really good as well. Um, and that one was in a pre-order recently. So I'm waiting for that one to pop up and ready to ship. And then I think I will get it. But this one's really good. Her, smoke, her Campfire Smoke is so good. And the Marshmallow Cream is very sweet. But... It blends with the smoke so well. And her pink sugar is a really bright, sweet one as well. Like I I find Southbound has one of my one of the better pink sugars out there. So basic which really good, really strong, hundred percent we'll get more of it. Um, I'm sure it will pop up sometime between now and Halloween. Actually I'm hoping 
I think I normally get Basic Witch like in Cyber Black Friday or Cyber Monday or whatever when she does sales because she often has a lot of Halloween leftovers so I'll probably wait for that. Uh, Southbound Apple Cider Donuts, so fresh picked Orchard apples, cinnamon, nutmeg, clove, rich gooey cake donuts, and a hint of caramel. This is a very good apple cider donut scent. Sometimes <clears throat> I do like the scent of like an apple cider donut, but there are some out there. Some of them lean a little bit like raisin, and I don't like that. And then at least one of them has smelt kind of clean and soapy, and I don't like that either. But this one's really good. Like you do get that apple scent. The spices are there, but it's not too much, and you can tell it's a donut, so I do really enjoy that one. It throws really well. I don't need huge quantities of it, but I would get it again. Did do a bit of Southbound this week, so sugar cookie latte um, from Southbound. So fresh baked sugar cookies with sweet vanilla, roasted coffee beans, and sweet cream. Um, this one, really good. It's my favorite coffee bakery scent. It's got a really delicious, strong coffee, but it's quite sweet with the sweet cream and sweet vanilla, and the cookies just smell amazing. Yeah, hands down, just the best, just simple but amazing coffee bakery I've tried. I've melted so much of it, I've gone through so many clams of it, never get tired of it. I do melt coffee a little bit less than I used to, so I probably don't need to buy any more, because I think I have at least three more clams of this, but... Um, so I don't need more right now, but I would, if I ran out, I would repurchase because I love that scent. Uh, Super Tarts Prancer. So this is uh, mistletoe, red berries, pomegranate, peppermint. This is okay. I'm not loving it. It's, down, it's on down in my lounge room at the moment. It's just kind of, like, it's not like a strong peppermint, but it's, it's this giving me really fresh and slightly fruity vibes up there, like little kind of peppermint fresh vibes. And it's okay, but I just don't love it, you know? Like, I don't know. It's it's fine, but it's just... Yeah, there's just something about it. It's not a scent for me. It is very strong, but I don't need to get that one again. Alright, now the bags. There's a lot of bags. Um, so... That Smell Good Shop Twisty the Clown. So this one is Spruce Trees and Fresh Baked Cookies. This one doesn't throw very strongly. I don't mind it. It's not a bad tree cookie scent. I do love scents that are cookies and trees. This one, it's weird. Sometimes I get like a slight spearminty tone off it, but not always. Like it smells good, but yeah, I think it's quite light when it's like, I really don't remember it throwing. And I remember I had that issue last time I melted it as well. So not a repurchase because um, I have other scents that are like that, but it's just much stronger. Uh, L3 Waxy Wonders, Blackberry Jam, Butter Cookies, Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, Mallow, Toasted Mallow and Cookie Therapy. I really enjoy this. I have more bars of this. Um, it is just such a good, um, slightly blackberry jammy bakery. Like, it's just a really good mix. I don't feel like I get Pumpkin Pecan Waffles that strongly. I feel like it's got a strong kind of cookie therapy base, but much sweeter um and just this has got so much going on it it's just a really good solid bakery with a bit of blackberry jam i really really enjoy it um it threw really well in my bedrooms this time but i know i've had not the greatest throw from it in the past this is one of those um what was a booty bar um and I, so i've been using one segment per warmer which is probably a little bit less than what i would typically use with l3 Generally speaking, that's okay, but I found with this scent I've needed I needed to do more. So this time I actually did one and a half of those little um, segments in each warmer, and that performed really well. So for whatever reason, this scent just needs a bit more in the warmer to go, but it worked really well this time, so I was really pleased with that. I already have like two more bougie bars of it, so I don't need to think about repurchasing it anytime soon, but I would because I really do like it. I did this sample of Sugar Cookie Royale and Cupcakes at Tiffany's. I had something else on. I can't remember what it was. I'm sure once I get to it, I will remember. And I wasn't feeling it, so I put this on instead. Um, this was okay. I'm not the biggest Cupcakes at Tiffany's fan. I do like Sugar Cookie Royale. So it was kind of like a sweeter, slightly toffee-like Sugar Cookie Royale. So it was okay. I guess it could have been worse, because sometimes I smell Cupcakes at Tiffany's. I really don't like it. So... It was fine, nothing special, 
throw sort of medium to high. Um, I don't need to purchase that one, but it was it was okay. Uh, Deadpool from That Smell Good Shop. So this is Fall Bonfire and Charred Cedarwood. This one is really, really good. Um, oh, this the leaf, like, the sweet kind of charred leaves aspect to it. Oh man, it's so good. It does remind me a little bit of Bonfire Bliss, but it's better. It's got more complex kind of notes to it. It's really got a lot going on in it, I feel like. The description kind of full bonfires, it's... I feel like I can smell like sleeves and a little bit of sweetness and it's just, it's so, so good. It throws quite well, 100% we'd get this one again. This one was fantastic. Super Tarts, Fall Leaves and Sandalwood. So this one I got as like, it was like a Halloween shape bag a couple of years ago. Oh, it was just after Halloween, but anyway. Um, I have loved this bag. I've kind of been sitting on it for a while, but I finally got um, blending clams in fall leaves and sandalwood. So if I want to recreate this, I can. Her fall leaf scent is just incredible. I don't know any other vendor that has the same fall leaf scent as her. Like I don't generally like the leaves oil and stuff like that, but her fall leaves is and the sandalwood. It just so it creates this kind of. It smells a little bit incense like. Um, this combo but it's just it's amazing if you've smelled grudge it's got a new name now that's got blueberry muffins fall leaves and sandalwood as well so it's not that strong in there but it's the same base like if you so if you can smell that slightly leaves and woodsy like kind of tone that's in that that's what this is and it is so freaking good this has always thrown super strongly for me this has been like an absolute powerhouse um like I said, not going to be able to buy this combo again, but I've got the clams, and if she offers the clams again, I'll continue to buy them because her sandalwood and her four leaves are great in their own right and great to blend with other things, but they blend so well together as well. So, love that. Uh, this labelless bag was... Let me just smell just to make sure I'm right. Yeah, it was um, Sorting House from L3. So it was... It's like pumpkin pecan waffles, sweet syrup. I think there's like an apple and cinnamon something. So it's quite a dense, sticky, sweet pumpkin pecan waffle scent. It is quite good though. Like sometimes those really syrupy pumpkin pecan waffle scents are a bit much, a bit cloying and heavy. But this one almost was too much, but just rides that boundary. So it's not one I would melt too often, but I did like it. Um... It throws quite well. So yeah, it smelled quite tasty. It was quite good. Um, I would repurchase it. I don't need big quantities though. Like one little Halloween shape a year would probably be more than enough with this scent. It's just, it is a bit much. But it is it is a good one if you're in the mood for that kind of thing. Teton Tarts Strawberry Luxe. So this is Strawberry Pancake Amber Sea Salt Bergamot. I love this scent so much. Um... Strawberries are so fickle for me. Um, I have so many issues getting a good strawberry that this is just... First of all, Strawberry Lux is a perfect name for it because it is like the most luxurious strawberry scent that I have ever smelled. Um, it kind of... I always sit there trying to figure out how it smells because sometimes because of the amber and the sea salt and the bergamot, it's, it almost smells like a perfume strawberry or a body care strawberry, but it doesn't. Not really. Like, not... Uh, I don't know. And sometimes it smells almost like a sweet strawberry candy, but it doesn't smell like any kind of strawberry candy scent that I've ever smelled. It doesn't smell like an artificial kitty chapstick strawberry. It... It just smells like this amazing, slightly sensual strawberry. Like, it's really hard to describe. So, absolutely love it. It's medium to high throw. I do wish it was a little bit stronger, but it's still really good. Um, I, actu I actually... Tea Time Tarts is back, by the way. Um, I did say last week that she was coming back. So, if you're not in the Facebook group, because she hasn't um, done a ready-to-ship in almost a year or anything. Like, um, she's sort of been off you know, absent, um, but she's back, which I'm really happy about, and I ordered 
four custom loaves. So she did a ready to ship, but you can get custom loaves. They are up on the side at the moment. I did a custom loaf in Strawberry Locks. So this was one that I just went, I love so much. And I wanted to have enough of it so that I could blend it because I do enjoy melting it like solo, but I feel like it would be a really good strawberry to blend. I feel like I could blend it with bakery or I could blend it with like perfume or whatever. Like it just feels really versatile. So that's why I wanted the loaf in that one. Uh, Super Tarts Birds. So this one is Harvest Ale, Buttercream, Donuts, I think. Um, I can't remember the rest. Uh, yeah, that, that pretty much sums it up. I love birds. I don't know why I started, I started melting it really late in the season. And I think I caught up because I melt most of this bag. But her Harvest Ale is fantastic. No other vendor carries a scent like this. It's If you like cider, you'd probably like Harvest Ale. But it's not. It hasn't got that sickly sweet, or that real sweet um, apple scent that the cider does. It's definitely different. Um, and then you get bakery tones and slight creaminess, and it's just an amazing autumn fall blend. Oh, I love it. Um, definitely, and it throws really strongly, definitely will be a repurchase. I have one more clam. Um, I definitely only melt it in the cooler months, so I don't need to be sitting on a huge amount of it, but I would probably like to have another clam ready for next season. So, love that. <clears throat> Tea Time Tarts, The Haunted Hayride. So this is Cider Lane, White Birch, Smoked Vanilla, Palo Santo and Leaves. This is another one I ordered a custom loaf of. So, to recap what I got custom loaves in. So, Strawberry Lux, Haunted Hayride, uh, Blazing Saddles and Palo Santo, which is a really kind of creamy woody leather scent but a really good one i'm not normally big on you know in your face leather that one is really good um and salted nepals and pepino melon um which is one of my favorite summer scents and coming into summer i wanted to get at least one loaf that was good for summer so i have a lot of favorites from tea time tarts other ones i will pick up at a later date but those were just the four that in the year that she's the nearly a year that she's been gone those were the four scents i knew that i need to have um, and I finished this one in celebration of um, knowing that I would be able to order it again soon. Um, it's just the most incredible autumn blend that you can think of. Like, it's everything combines absolutely perfectly. It's a little bit smoky, but not excessively so. It's woodsy. It's the cider is just a warm slightly sweet pop the leaves are there it is just absolutely incredible it is so 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 good i have one more strip full of it so i didn't run out entirely but now i've got the, the loaf i'll keep because i was going to save the strip full for um it's like a round disc thing i was going to save that for next year but now i will probably keep melting through that and then i'll use the loaf for next year so love um 100 percent would get it again, would recommend it. I'm guessing she will pour it sometime, obviously, as the weather starts to get cooler in the US. I'm guessing she will pour it. Definitely recommend it. Medium to high throw. Um, it, again, it's not like a super, super strong one, but it definitely fills a room. It's really, really fabulous if you like those sorts of scents. I feel like I haven't seen many vendors do, like, Palo Cider Lane. Maybe they have and I've just missed it, but if that's anything to go by, it's really good. Piedmont from the Pharmacist Daughter. So this one is Blue Sugar, Pink Sugar, Pomegranate Bitters. Um, I really, really like this scent. And it's really just because of the Pomegranate Bitters. I don't know why, but I just love that Pomegranate Bitters scent. It man manages to be super tart without going sour. Because some tart scents, like some cranberry, like tart fruities, like cranberries and stuff, a lot of them smell sour to me. Um... But no, this one is just brilliant, like, bitter, tart, pomegranate, but in the best possible way. I don't feel like I notice blue sugar and pink sugar other than there's a bit of a cologne kind of vibe to it. But it's really all about the, um, the pomegranate bitters, and I love that. So this is very strong. I definitely would get this again sometime. I haven't seen any other vendors offer pomegranate bitters, so I would return to the pharmacist's daughter for that. Um... I also did this one from the pharmacist's daughter. So this one is Issaquina. So blue sugar, pomegranate, shave, and a haircut. Um, I tend to melt this one at the same time as Piedmont, but I don't like it as much as Piedmont. It's a regular pomegranate, so a sweeter kind of pomegranate. 
And it's very kind of masculine, soapy, cologne-like with the shave and haircut. So I'm kind of coming around on sort of shave and haircut and shaving cream type. Well, I don't know. I, I tend to... I think shave and haircut's quite different to shave and cream, for example. But I tend to mentally lump them all into the same bucket. Um... And that's probably not a good idea because I don't, I think I don't love shaving a haircut, but I'm starting to come around on some shaving cream scents. So yeah, it's quite masculine and soapy with a bit of pomegranate. So it's not bad, but it's not a favorite. Uh, throws medium to high. Um, yeah, I don't need to get that one again. Rainbow Melts Wizard. So this is uh, Sweater Weather Cranberry and Ozark Forest. I do really love this blend. It's... Ozark Forest can be quite overwhelming, but this one managed, and so can Sweater Weather, to be honest, but this one managed to be a really deep, rich, woody, but sweet. It's got like a, it's a deep sweetness, but a sweetness from the cranberry. It's not overly strong on the Sweater Weather, like it is there, but... Yeah, I don't know. I feel like it's quite well balanced. Nothing really overpowers or stands out, you know, which I think is really good. So I do really enjoy this um, this blend. It throws quite strongly. Um, I don't know, like... Yeah, I don't know what I would do about <laughs> Rainbow Melts and everything that's happened over there. Um, it's possibly a blend I might try and get from another vendor sometime, but I do feel like it's one that would be easy to get wrong, because I just feel like Sweater Weather, depending on the oil and the way it's blended, the Sweater Weather or the Ozark Forest could just completely wipe everything out, so, um, I might try and custom it or something at some time, but anyway, who knows. Ebony Violet, I should change my pod. So this is Strawberry Pound Cake type warm sugar cookies with sweet frosting and birthday cake. I really enjoy this. This is a really good strawberry pound cake blend. It's very icing heavy, I feel like. I guess with sweet frosting and birthday cake, that makes sense. It's got, so it's, it, you definitely smell strawberry pound cake, but yeah, the, the icing aspect of it is amped up. Um, I don't always love birthday cake scents, but this just smells really good. So yeah, it's just a delicious strawberry frosting. Um, I feel like the cookies add a little bit of, of a more denseness to the bakery too. So love it, great for I've got another um, souffle of it because I did already repurchase it. Last empty, so Beastly Brew from Tea Time Tarts. So this one is Palo Santo Coconut Bourbon, Earthy Indian Sandalwood and Rich Creamy Vanilla. I do like this one a lot. Her Sandalwood Palo blends are just really wonderful woody combo. The creaminess is nice. Um, the bourbon note's good. It's just a really, really good blend. Um, I get... I can't remember how well this threw, so maybe not so well. I don't know. I know I smelled it. I know I liked it, but I just... I don't think it was, like, super strong. Um, I would get more of it. I don't feel like this is one I need, like, crazy amounts of. I didn't need a loaf in it, but I would get, like, another one of these to melt again. Okay, so that is the empties. Which I'm going to move here for the moment so then I have room for the unempties okay so unempties scoops scoopable tart wax sleepy hollow cider lane cider donut and pretzel um on cold I really like the smell of this and I thought I was gonna love it and I was surprised by that because I don't normally love pretzel um Warm, sometimes I liked it, and sometimes it smelt like raisins, and I really do not like raisins. Yeah, there was, it just, and I feel like as it went on, like I think, um, I think when it started, the pretzel was giving it quite a bit of balance, so I quite liked it. There was just a, a kind of slightly yeasty, slightly saltiness that was balancing out the sweetness, but I feel like that kind of died out, and then it was just, um, yeah, it smelled like raisins. So, um, I'll try it again, because I did like it. Um, it threw pretty well in here. It was maybe medium high. Um, but depend if it does that again, I might have to maybe throw something else in it, blend it. I feel like if I blended it, maybe that would kind of tone down that raisin tone. But anyway, so that one, maybe not a repurchase. We'll see. Straw uh, Nilla Strawberry Noel from Scoopable. So, Vanilla Wafer, Strawberry Jam, Vanilla Bean Noel. This... I used to really love this as a strawberry bakery scent. I do still like it, but I'm not as enthusiastic as, as I used to be about it. 
there's a tone in here. There's something that smells a bit artificial and I just don't love it. I feel like maybe this one too, I need to start blending and maybe blend it with like a denser bakery. I think that would kind of help out smooth out that tone that I don't like. So um, this one throws quite well. I don't think it'll be a repurchase. This is the second time I've had it. I think I had it in a mini melter bag from Rose Girls originally. Um, and now I've got the scoop. So. Ah. Okay. <sighs> Pumpkin Parcel Legolas. So this was my custom. Um, that she named because she put it in a, I was a bit confused. It was put in a, she does like these mystery boxes. So like you pick the, you pick the theme and then it has, you don't know what you get the sense. Um, so she did a Lord of the Rings box. And so this scent went in there, but when she was advertising this scent, cause she did put this one up on social media, I think the blend was a little bit different to what I had. So I did fierce oak moss and tropical rain. She put in the box, I think it was Fierce Oak Moss and Pink Sugar, which I think would also be fabulous. But my one, because the Tropical Rain is such a good oil, this was just incredible. Like, um, it's tropical and so it's like rain, but almost like there's slight fruit tones to it. Um, but then the oak moss, like there's a slight earthy tone from the oak moss and Fierce is just a fabulous blender. Like I really enjoy Fierce in blend. So it just adds a slightly masculine comforting fuzziness to the, to the base. So I love this blend. I don't know. So the version in the box, if it is for pink sugar, then that will be different. But I think it would still be really good. I would have both blends. Super strong, 100%. I will get, I'm planning on getting a scoop in this because this is just... What probably one of the, the best blends I've ever done at Pumpkin Parcel. I've done a few customs, and this I think was the best one. <laughs> Ebony Violet Sugar Balsam. So this is vanilla sugar cookies and vanilla balsam type. I like this, um, but it's nothing special or crazy. Like it's just it's just vanilla balsam with cookies, basically. Um, and I love a good balsam and cookie scent, and this is a good one, but it just kind of feels like a slightly amped up vanilla balsam. I think I might blend with this one going forward. I feel like it's a really good base for blending, but just on its own, it just, yeah, I don't know. I just, because I wouldn't necessarily melt vanilla balsam on its own. I like vanilla balsam, but I like it in blends, and this just didn't feel that different to vanilla balsam. So it throws well. Um, I do like it. I wouldn't repurchase it. Um, but I'll be happy to use the rest of this loaf, I think, in blends. It is kind of a winter blender, though, so I probably won't do much with it until next year. Uh, Tea Time Tarts Haunted House. Sorry, trying to stop it swinging. Uh, bourbon, wood, white birch, and smoked vanilla. This, I think I like. I don't think I, like, smelled it too much this time, though. I think it's a bit on the light side. Yeah, I don't remember it melting. I do think it's a bit lighter than what I would have liked. Because I can't smell much here. I do normally like that white birch and smoked vanilla tone. She does that in a few different blends. And that does smell really good. But like it's smoky, but it's not overly smoky, you know. But yeah, the I can't really tell what the bourbon wood's doing. And I don't remember it melting. So yeah, I don't think that was a repurchase. I just don't think it threw well enough. But it, it smells good. L3 Strawberry Pound Cake, Vanilla vanilla Cookies, Vanilla Butterfudge, and Vanilla Bean Noel. I really like this. I, I'm, it's not anything that's like crazy special, but it's a, just a really good solid strawberry bakery set. Um, I think the, the Vanilla Butterfudge really helps for me. Like I really enjoy Vanilla Butterfudge as a bakery blender. I could just... It, it, Especially if you're blending like a vanilla cookie scent, because sometimes I find, I like a cookie scent, but sometimes it's just not oomphy enough as a bakery kind of base. And I feel like vanilla butter fudge, but some, so like if you can add zucchini bread to a cookie scent, but then it becomes very distinctly zucchini bread. Vanilla butter fudge, I find adds more a denseness and a rich, richness to a bakery blend, but still keeps it vanilla, if that makes sense. Like, and still kind of, I don't think I'm articulating this very well, but I just, 
rather than going like full on cake, which I don't always love, or full on cookie, which I don't, you know, sometimes I don't love, vanilla butter fudge just kind of saves the day for me. I don't know. And you, but you definitely get the strawberry tone. Her strawberry pound cake is not my favorite, but in blends it's pretty good, and in this blend it's really good. So yeah, I I love this. Um, it throws well. I don't know once I'm finished this loaf if it will be a repurchase because a loaf is a lot, but possibly. Like it is really good. Um, L3 with a really askew label. Smoked vanilla, mar smoked vanilla marshmallow fireside palo santo campfire mellow. Um, I feel like I just didn't go down and smell this one when it was melting. I've had it for a while. I remember when I used to melt it, I used to think it was too smoky. But actually now it smells really good. I don't know if it's, if this loaf has changed or if I've changed, but, because I forgot I had it to be honest. But this smells like a really good woody smoky scent. I think I need to melt this one again like next week to judge, because... I think I put it on on a day I was working and I didn't come down and pay attention to it. It could be it's um, nearly two years old, so it could be that the throw that maybe it hasn't thrown as well. Like there might be aspects on of it that have died off a little bit because I think the smoked vanilla was a little bit much for me last time. Ah, oh, it smells really good now. Yeah, I think I'm gonna melt this this week and like in here in my office. Um, I've sort of started a new role. Uh, like in the same area, in the same area that I work in, I work in like technology for a bank, um, but it's a different role and it's quite, it's a lot, it's a lot more full on. So I've had a few days this week where I just, you know, normally I would, you know, just take breaks away from my computer. I would go for a wander down through the house, go do something, check out my wax along the way. There were some days where I just didn't get to do that. So, um, I think that was it, but I want to smell this again this week because that is smelling really, really good. I feel like the smoked vanilla has maybe dialed down a bit. Anyway, uh, Teddy Bee's Campfire Stories. So this is Ooey Gooey S'mores Cold Night Winds and Sweet Vanilla Woods. This one's over two years old. Wow. Um, Teddy Bee's, because the releases are so infrequent, I feel like I lose track of time. Like that smoked L3 loaf that I was just talking about, that was November 2020. But in my head, that one's much older than this. But it's not. So anyway. Because in L3, you know, when I think about how many L3 releases have happened between now and that loaf, it's like a million. Whereas, whereas it's, um, uh, you know, maybe like eight in two years. No, probably more than eight. But yeah, it's like, it's, anyway, it's less. I enjoy the scent. I don't love it as much as I used to. When I first smelled it, I was like, whoa, this is like the mountain air version of Beach Nights. Um, and it probably, I probably still would say that. Um, but I just don't love beach nights anymore. So this one's quite sweet, um, and s'mores-ish, I find. I feel like it has a very slight spice as well, but not much. But then, yeah, there is a cool freshness to it and just a slight woody tone. It is really nice. Um, it throws really well. I don't think it's a repurchase after this because I just, I don't reach for this loaf very much anymore, but... You know, I've enjoyed it. I've been glad to have it. St. Valentine from Teddy Bees. So this is, um, this bag feels so beaten up. Um, but the wax is all nice and safe in the tub. I do like the tubs. Um, pink sugar, Earl Grey tea, balls and fur sweet vanilla cream. I love this scent so much. Every time I melt it, it makes me happy. Um, so I'm halfway through the tub. Again, I was going to say it was only recently poured. It was poured in February, like, but it was like two pre-orders ago, you know. I need more of this. I will be trying to get this into the next pre-order. So when she puts her list up, I will be putting it up. And I will really hope people vote for it or that it just gets put on because it is fabulous. All of the scent notes that are on here are there. Pink sugar, Earl Grey tea, balsam fur, sweet cream, sweet vanilla cream. It is definitely balsam but it's not overwhelmingly so it's got it's definitely got vanilla cream elements you can definitely smell some pink sugar and the tea just kind of gives it a cozy feel it is incredible it is just one of my absolute top teddy bees blends i'd say um and i have a lot of top teddy bees blends but this one um i think that you know i do think you need to like tree scents and you need to like earl grey scents and 
but just try it. It's amazing. Um, I will be advocating for that one to get up the list. And it always throws really strong. That is a very strong scent. Um, I just love it so much. Southbound Caramel Cookie Latte. Uh, caramel Drop Cookies and Rich Caramel Coffee. Um, this one's not a bad one. It's it's a bit too gooey and sweet of a caramel scent. I prefer this one blended with... Um, I think blackberry is what I've been blending it with because I had a caramel blackberry caramel coffee from another vendor and I enjoyed that one. Yeah, this one needs something to cut it. I didn't go down and spend much time with it, but I'm definitely smelling it here and from the vague memory of it when I did walk past, it needs something else. So um, if you like a very rich caramel coffee, this is probably a good one. Um, not a repurchase for me because I'm just not, you know, I think I have gone through a couple of clams with this because I used to enjoy blending it. Now I'm just not into coffee enough to bother, so I probably wouldn't, but it is good. Um, Super Tart Tippy Kaye, so Ice Sugar Hoogies Pine Needles. Love this, one of my favourite Sugar Hoogie Pine Needle type scents. Like I said, I melted the... Um, <sighs> that Smell Good Shot one, and I didn't, that one didn't throw. This one, actually... I don't know if it was my nose or if it's been cure time or what, but this one threw much stronger than I remember it. Yippee Kai Yay for me, and I think it has a new name now. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Um, no, because it used to be Die Hard. That's right. Um, Yippee Kai Yay for me was always a solid medium to high, but this was really strong this time. I don't know what that was about. But anyway, you get... A beautifully strong sweet cookie and pine you can definitely smell both but they are really well balanced it's just perfect so love that always will repurchase it texas chainsaw from super tarts so this is a caramel apple hot maple toddy french baguette first time i melted this i remember i was not that enamored by it it was okay i don't think it was quite the right weather for it I didn't write down when i got it but i think i got it late last year like fright night pre-order I really loved this this time around. This was really, really good. Because it was like a warm, comforting kind of caramel apple scent. And I have been into caramel apples. But the French baguette, that kind of yeasty, bready note, just really worked for me in this blend. Ah, oh, so good. Oh, hopefully you can't hear my stuff there. Um, so, so good. Um, I need to melt this again before the weather warms up. If I finish this clam, like, so be it. I I feel like I have another clam, maybe. It's possible I even did finish a clam. I just didn't love it last time. But this time, really, really into it. And really great throw. So definitely a repurchase on that one. Haunted Hayride from Southbound. So this one is balsam, vetiver, cedar, wood, pine, crisp leaves, and berries. I don't love this one. Um, it has a really strong grassy tone to it. Which I don't know where, if it, where it comes from. It could be the vetiver, but I feel like it's a different type of vetiver to what I'm used to. Because it really does... Like, whenever I think of the ha name Haunted Hayride, I'm like, it smells like... It does smell like a grassy kind of hay scent. It ha has other, other, other elements to it, but when it's melting, that's the main thing I notice, is that kind of grassy hay scent. It smells like hay, and I don't love it. Um, very strong throw. I had it up here, it was quite strong, but yeah, that one's not a repurchase. L3 Poison Peach. So this is Peaches and Cuban Tobacco. Um, this scent, I do enjoy this scent, but... God, I just have to be in the mood for it, and this time I wasn't. So I feel like it's like really 50-50. I pick it, and I melt it, and I think, oh yeah, I'm kind of into that, and then I just don't want it. It's definitely peach. But it's got a really sharp... I mean, it's Cuban tobacco, right? But it's really hard to describe. It's not woody. It's not earthy. Oh, yeah, I, I really struggle to describe this one. I Like I said, it's a really good blend, but I just, if I'm not in the mood for this very specifically, then I don't enjoy it. So it does throw very strongly. It's probably not a repurchase, and I just have to pull it only when I really feel like, when I know that I want that type of blend. I think it kind of conflicts a bit every time I melt. Like, maybe if I'm melting, I don't know, like cranberry woods or something, like something that's a bit more tart. Even though it's not tart, it's kind of 
It kind of does have a little bit more of a tartness than a traditional peach would have just because of the blending with Cuban tobacco. So I feel like it just goes more with those types of scents. But anyway. Southbound Christmas tree cookies. So this is uh, pine, fresh lime, cardamom, pepper, delicious frosted sugar cookies. This is really good. Um, I tend to melt it when I melt like Yippie Kaye and stuff like that. Like I like to have my whole house be like pine and cookies. Because, yes, this is a better time to melt those kind of scents. I know it's a Christmas scent, but Christmas in Australia can be, you know, super hot. So, <laughs> But I don't mind. I actually don't mind these scents around summer either because I don't like things with spice or mint, like strong mints. And there's a lot of Christmassy scents I don't like. But I find that a good pine cookie scent I am okay with because it just smells outdoorsy and tree-like and cookie like so that I'm still okay with it summer for Christmas but also during winter I like this one because it's got those not that they're super strong but the lime and the pepper and the cardamom like it's not as um, sweet it's a little bit zingier than the others so it's really good um, it throws really well this loaf I've gone through really slowly I will continue to move through it slowly so I don't know if I need to get that one again but it is good. It's a good one. Vintage Chic Scents The Warrens. So this is a glazed cinnamon donuts, a warm cup of mulled cider topped with gooey marshmallows, caramel drizzle, and sweet cinnamon. Um, this I really like. This is like probably the best like cider donut, sweet cider donut type scent I've smelled. This has got a perfect swap of, pop of sweetness. I don't feel like I get a really strong cinnamon donut. I do think it's there, but I feel like I get more marshmallows, cider, and a slight caramel. But I'm not complaining. I really enjoy that. Um, it threw quite well in my office, which is good because Vintage Cheek Sense is so fickle in this house and this office. So um, I'm pleased this one does well. And for that reason, I would get this one again because it does pretty well. Vintage Chic Scents, Martha and Snoop. So this is Zucchini Red Vanilla Butter Fudge, Cupcakes at Tiffany's and Brown Sugar. So first of all, I love this scent. Like, I know it gets a lot of hype and it is really well deserved because it is just an epic bakery blend. Just the, the way the brown sugar blends with the, all of those scents. Because I've had Martha Stewart, which is this Zucchini Red Vanilla Butter Fudge, Cupcakes at Tiffany's. I like that. It is a good blend. But the brown sugar in this just takes it absolutely next level. So it is fantastic. See, my vintage egg sense always ends up in just strange wedges because I refuse to microwave my wax to cut it. I know that that's probably making life harder for myself, but I just, all of my wax gets cut in here as I go. That's just how I like to do it. I don't like to take it out to the microwave. And that works for like 90% of my vendors, but... Vintage Chic Scents, particularly loaves and souffles, it's just as soon as you put pressure on with your cutter, it just shatters. Anyway. But this... I'm tempted to give up because I just can't get the recipe for decent throw with this one. I have had it throw for me before. I have been able to smell it. But melting it up here in my office, it just generally doesn't throw. I did it down in my lounge room. It really didn't throw. Like, it was light. Most of the time, I couldn't smell it. So if I left the room and came back, I could get wafts, but that was it. I think it's been okay in the bedrooms and the kitchen, but Vintage Chic Scents, generally speaking, is just so... such hard work in this house. I think I've seen with some people, it really does depend on your house. Some people get great performance in some in one house, and then they move, and then it changes, and... And I think that might be the case here too, because I think Vintage Cheek Scents did okay at my old house. But here, I just... And not every scent is like that. Like, the Warrens was not bad. But, yeah, I just... This one makes me sad, because I just want to smell it. It smells so good. And it just... The throw was light. So light. So, I don't know at this stage if it's a repurchase. If I hit the magic formula for making it go, then yes, I will. If I don't, then I will. No. Uh, King Joffrey from Super Tart. So this is Wedding Cake and Ceremonial Pie. It has a new name now. I can't remember what it is. 
I used to be absolutely obsessed with King Joffrey because it was just so incredibly unique and I have smelled other wedding cake scents, haven't loved them. This one just smells very different and really good. I'm probably a little bit over it these days because I did go through multiple clams of it and then I bought the band bag. I still like it, but I'm just, yeah, kind of the magic's gone, if that makes sense. It's got, I swear it's got like a berry, like white currant or something, or a berry, I don't know exactly what it is, but it's got something else in there. Um, and the ceremonial pie, I think it's meant to kind of be like, you know, mysterious. Anyway, full of poison. Um... So yeah, I like it, but I'm just not really that into it anymore. It does so well, but yeah, it's not going to be a repurchase after this, I think. Um, I've just done my dash with that scent. It happens. You can love a scent and then melt a bunch of it and then just not want to love it anymore. And then other scents you love forever. Um, Insidious. So this one's changed names as well. Um, this one is like Beechwood, Vetiver, and Cotton Candy. Um, and again, this is another one that I went absolutely crazy about when I first fell in love with Super Tarts. Bought so much of it. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Still really enjoy still enjoy it. Still think it's a really beautiful, unique blend, but I'm just I'm a I I just don't feel the need to melt it anymore. It's really hard to describe and I don't it definitely you can smell beechwood vetiver if you've smelled that before. You can definitely smell that, and you can it's you've got sweetness from cotton candy and stuff. So yeah, it's great. Um, but I've just this one I probably would get a clamshell here and there. I do still melt it, like enjoy enjoy melting it occasionally. But I just yeah, this is two years old now. So um, and it, I've still got like a quarter, more than a quarter left because it was two donuts, and I've still got half of one donut plus another piece. So anyway. Um, O oh Fudge Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies from Super Tart. So this is hot orange Danish flaky pie crust sweet cinnamon, sweet cream cinnamon blackberry and butter cookies. Um, ah. really nice blend. Um, it's definitely heavier on the O oh Fudge, which is like that creamy or hot orange Danish type bakery with a bit more spice than just hot orange bake hot orange Danish. But the blackberry jam and the butter cookies blends in there really nicely as well. So really, really good take on bakery. Um, not the strongest throw, kind of medium throw, I'd say. Um, so for that reason, it probably doesn't feel like it'll be repurchased. It was a specialty blend anyway, so it probably won't get poured again. But so yeah, I liked it, but not a love. Uh, L3 Fresh Baked Bread. Fresh picked strawberries and vanilla butter fudge. Another really good strawberry vanilla butter fudge blend um i really just like vanilla butter fudge this one i feel like uh, fresh baked bread and vanilla butter fudge actually go together quite well vanilla butter fudge has a very slightly yeasty tone it just and it just goes together well with bread and then you get a really nice pop from the strawberry so i really enjoy this this is a really good custom um i get really good throw from it don't know if I need to repurchase it when I'm done that bag, but I do love it. Um, Ebony Violet, turn your lights down low. So this is warm amber, sweet sugar, soft musk, cotton candy, lemon drops, vanilla, palo santo wood. This is on here in here at the moment, and I got to be honest, I, I'm not getting. It smells so pretty. It's a really feminine, but woody and musky scent. I don't really get cotton candy or lemon drops, but. Or maybe a slight, I just feel like there's a slight tang from a lemon, but it doesn't smell like actual lemon. So yeah, it's a really gorgeous scent, but I, I really can't smell much. I think I've had that, because I have had this before, and I feel like I didn't get my throw from it then either. So, um, it smells beautiful, but yeah, not going to be a repurchase, because it's just the throw's not there. Lord of Misrule Peeps and Pipe Smoke from L3. Um, this is one, I have multiple Matrix melts, so... I think I've told this story multiple times now, but I had this blend. It wasn't my blend. I got it in a scoop. It must have been someone else's request or custom. I don't know. And I absolutely was blown away by it. It was the most amazing take on Lord of Misrule. It just had this incredible sweetness and extra smokiness, and I was just obsessed. So I requested it again, but the risk that you run with L3 um, 
when they repour requests, because they don't keep, unless it's like a named blend, like they don't keep how they poured it on file or anything. They just, they get the scent and they, you put the, you request a scent and they pour it, you know, however they see fit at the time. So this one did not turn out the same. It just, it smells good, but the magic is just not there. I don't even know why. I think it smells more peep, um, pipe smokish than Lord of Misrule. And maybe that's the problem, but yeah, anyway. It's, it throws well, it's a nice scent, but yeah, it's not going to be repurchased because it's just not the scent that I fell in love with. Look, I love so many things that, about L3 that that, like, you know, I would love if you could, you know, if you fell in love with someone's custom or something that you could request it exactly and it would come out exactly the same. Um, but I know that that's just something that would be way too difficult. They probably would not be able to offer all of the scents that we request every fortnight or whatever if they had to do that. So it's, it's fine. Um, brown sugar cupcakes at Tiffany's and buttermilk pie. So I pulled this, this is the first, um, scent from the buttermilk pie sampler that I've melted. On cold, I really thought I was going to love this. I had to change it out. I could not deal with this scent. Buttermilk pie is great. It's like a vanilla bakery with a slight kind of burnt edge from the um, creme brulee. And I just feel like that, so that sort of burnt sugary note, combined with brown sugar, so a real kind of thick kind of sugary scent, with the toffee note from Cupcakes at Tiffany's. It was just so sickly and rich. I just could not handle it. I had to change it. And I was so surprised because I thought brown sugar and um, buttermilk pie would be good. And Cupcakes at Tiffany's generally from L3, even though it's not my favourite scent, it's usually kind of inoffensive. But here, just that, yeah, the toffee and the brown sugar and the buttermilk pie, I could not stand it. It was really strong and it smells really good cold too, but no, couldn't do it. Had to change it. Um, L3 Tobacco Roasted Coffee Vanilla Sandalwood. This is really good. Uh, I really like her roasted coffee. And this this is... I was going to say it's really hard to describe, but it's actually very simple to describe. It, it smells like roasted coffee, vanilla sandalwood, and tobacco. If you smelt those oils from L3, then you know what this will smell like. It kind of equal parts of all. It's when I struggle to find a time to melt because I melt my coffee scents in the morning, but I tend to melt sandalwoods and stuff in the evening. So I think I did melt this one in the morning. And it didn't feel entirely out of place, but this is still a little bit of a sharpness from the vanilla sandalwood that wasn't quite my morning jam, you know. So that's kind of my only problem with this blend is, yeah, I just don't know when to melt it because my brain just has certain rules for what, what it wants in the morning and what it wants in the afternoon. But still, I do really enjoy this blend. It throws really strongly. I would probably get it again. Not in a big quantity, but something small would be good. L3 Blue Lagoon. So this is Salty Sea Air, Wild Blueberries and Pink Chiffon. I love this. I have this on in the kitchen at the moment. I really have this thing for sweet Salty Sea Air blends, like sugar blending sugary sweet scents with Salty Sea Air. I'm not really familiar with Wild Blueberries. It does smell blueberry-ish, but it doesn't smell like drastically different to any blueberry oil I've smelled. But yeah, it's just pretty girly, but then the Salty Sea Air it just, it smells so good. Super strong as well, really strong scent. Definitely would get it again. Although, I have something else that I find is similar enough that I could live without this. Um, it's like a Salty Sea Air Cotton Candy Spruce and Mallow scent, which I know sounds quite different, but there's something about the Salty Sea Air and then like a sweet scent. They kind of smell similar. Anyway, it is really good. Uh, beautiful Disaster from Tea Time Tarts. So this is uh, Pink Sugar Palo Santo White Birch Smoked Vanilla. So again, another blend of White Birch Smoked Vanilla. She likes those. And so do I. I just, it's a really good, I don't know if it's an oil. I think it's an oil. Or it could be, because I know there's a Smoked Vanilla oil as well. Anyway, love it. With the Palo Santo, it smells good. The Pink Sugar, I don't know how much it's adding to it. But yeah, and this is kind of similar in a way, because she does do Palo Santo and White white birch and smoked vanilla in so many blends. It does smell kind of similar to uh, quite a few other blends of hers. So for that reason, I probably don't need to get this one again. Like any of those ones are fine. Uh, medium to high throw for that one. I thought my wax pile was going to fall over. All right, and the last scent uh, 
this week is Beauty in the Dark from Ebony Violet. This is caramelized vanilla, tobacco leaves, patchouli, lavender, jasmine, warm vanilla, sugar, and jasmine. It's got jasmine in there twice. This is really, really, really pretty. I had this on in my bedrooms, and this is just... You definitely get the caramelized vanilla. And you can smell tobacco. And then just a warm, beautiful kind of slightly a sweetened floral. It doesn't really smell earthy, and it doesn't smell super strongly tobacco either. Like to me, it's more caramelized vanilla and jasmine. But not like, I don't know. It's just really, really lovely. It almost makes me feel like it's got a slight coconut milk note in there, but I don't know where that's coming from. Anyway, love it. It grew well in there. Um, I would get that one again. I really enjoy that one. That's it. That's everything that I melted this week. Um, so like I said, lots of empties. Um, next week's box, which I haven't been filming the boxes. so. Um, but next week's picks, I have quite a few new Teddy Bees things. Um, some of the stuff that was poured kind of earlier in her pouring window from the last pre-order. Um, and a bit of Dessas as well. So there's a bit more new stuff in the box next week. So um, stick around. Ooh. Catch next week's empties and unempties for that. Um, yeah, so I'm going to leave it there. I hope you're all doing really well. I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye.